Hey there, true believers, Rain Kisaragi here with Moles with Final, 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 Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Last time, we powered up our Clone Total Total 6, or 7 in the case of in-game Rain, and caught our first wanted criminal. Huzzah. Now, we should probably go pick up some more jobs, eh? Let's go ahead and do just that. We have Prof and Trouble, or Thesis Hunt. Thesis Hunt is the actual main game mission, so we're gonna do Prof and Trouble. Please find Professor Augie. He's been gone in Ludia Pass for three days now. Maybe he's lost or buried in an avalanche. Hmm. Win the battle. Can do. And that's it. Choose what to bring. Nothing. Nothing's fine. It's a, it's a fight. Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll be alright. Uh, we'll pick up Thesis Hunt uh, after I do this mission. That sound fair? I think it's fair. Uh, what's the law in the pass? Missiles. Mm. I don't really want to have missiles be outlawed since I'm using an archer. Uh, what about now? Silence. Okay. So I can't cast silence. Oh no. I'll try my best not to. This is an escort quest. I know, I'm just as excited as all of you are. Actually, this one's not too bad. This game doesn't have terrible, uh... Uh, doesn't... Uh, this game doesn't have terrible escort quests. Oh, I can't use CC? I guess if I, I, guess if I had to cut anybody, it would be CC if I had to cut anybody. I guess. So I guess I don't have to worry about missiles then after all, huh? Oh, well. We'll look at our enemies real quick. Once the map once the map starts. Okay, we have a flan. This is what this thing is. This is and this is an ice flan. Uh, ice flan are the same as they are in the other Final Fantasy games. It's an elemental ooze. It has lots of physical defense, so punching it is useless. But it's but it's horribly weak to fire, and it can cast blizzard. So that's kind of neat. The other one's the same. The exact same. Now, this is where... Now, these are zombies. The zombie, Guinness, Colin, and Lyle. Remember them? Anyway, zombies have an annoying habit of, n of, coming, of coming, coming back from the dead after you kill them. They can also drain touch to absorb some health. Because they're zombies. And that's what they do. Oh, and he knows counter. Neat. Uh, counter is a is a, is a reaction type a type type ability, and it and it allows the it allows the one who has it equipped to punch people who make uh, punch people who melee attack them in return for being hit. Now we just have to remember to not punch Colin, and we'll be fine. If you don't remember the names, don't worry, it's fine. They're the bullies from back in the real world. Let's just shuffle over here. Oh, Finnegan, you're miles away from anything that's going to be helpful. Make a defensive line around the around the professor. Oh, I should look at Augie's stats and show you what they're show what those are. Augie is a sage. Sage and uh, sage is an advanced new move class. It's pretty good. And then another sagity skill, which is drain. So he can absorb health from these things, or just use items, or hit them with a mace, as sages are oft to do. So we'll just charge up and just sort of pincer in our ally here, so he can't, uh, so he can't be attacked. And this was kind of dumb because these flans are going to hit us with ice magic now. But oh well, we have our healer in range anyway. We'll be alright. It's only two hits. It's not even that strong a damage anyway. Now, if I would have come into this fight with Ice Outlaw, these Flans would be useless. But that would have required planning, and why would I want to have that? And 
and I believe, uh, as well, the fawns are healed. If they, if they are hit by ice, they heal. Good job, you two. Alright, Guinness, what you got? I'm gonna try to drain some HP. Hmm. That's moderately annoying. Oh well. We'll make do. One way or another, we'll, we'll make do. Alright, and then Augie gets his turn. I'm guessing he's gonna... Yep, I was gonna say he probably cast Drain. So he can heal himself. Because Augie is an intelligent AI character. and is a fairly powerful sage. I think we see Augie a few times. Okay. Um... Problem is, I kind of want you to stand where you're at so I can heal you. So you may just have to punch him. Good. Good punch. It's 30 extra HP, that'll be alright. I'm not gonna say no to an extra 30 HP. Also, uh, Cure, as it does in all Final Fantasies, hurts zombies. Because they are undead. And undead cannot handle life. Because it is the opposite of undead. Is life. Or something. that. You'll do the execute, because I don't want him to be alive anymore. Now, the only problem with doing this, as I, as I glossed over very very briefly earlier, zombies come back, to, come back to life. See how he has three over his head? In three ticks of his initiative pass, he will come back to life. Which is insanely frustrating, and we'll just have to try to find a way to deal with this before he comes back. I have a way, don't worry. We'll go ahead and nuke this uh, this blob. Take out all the AoE on their on their side. They're down to just two normal zombies. Things should be substantially easier now. Now, what I said earlier, how I, how I said we had a way to stop zombies, we do. We have Exercise. The Exercise skill, along with Burial of the Archer, uh, allow you to kill the undead. So we're going to Exercise... Oh, I guess we can't. We have, uh, we have, we have, we have to punch them with, with it, I suppose, then. Very well. I thought we could target, target the down zombie. Apparently we can't. That's fine. We'll just kill these two that are still... I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say alive, because they're not, but, you know. Can't hit both of them. Can you go into, can you go into a spot where you can hit both of them without having them attack you? No. Very well. Then just hit the one zombie, then. That's fine. I wanted to try to hit both zombies, but oh well. How do you always hit? It's moderately frustrating, zombies. Um, let's actually... let's see. Think I don't think you should kill him. Not quite. Almost. But not quite. We can try Burial next turn. And I know I said I'm going to try to avoid punching this guy, because he has counter. We're still going to hit him for 46 when we do so. Or 43. 
And I can show off how counter works. That's how counter works. Oh, it's just a flat right then. Okay, that's less good than I thought it was. Never mind. You can bury zombies with exercise. It's just a really low chance. Very well. I thought it was. I thought, I thought it allowed you to hit uh, down zombies. Oh well. Point remains the same. You can kill zombies with it. It's just very low. But we don't need to because we can just kill them fast enough, and it doesn't really make any difference. Oh, Sage Augie. Being waylaid by zombies and cubes of gelatin. Or blobs of gelatin, rather. Nice. Cool. So, I'm gonna need new gear. Let's take a look at my new gear. Hello, Bonga Shopkeep. I'm not gonna call you a terrible racist thing th this time. Um, you might as well pick up Steel Shield. It's not particularly great, but meh, what you gonna do? I don't have any more black magic to learn. <clears throat> but I do already have that. Let's pick up a Judge Staff just so I have access to protect. I, I should ideally have one of everything in the shop at this point, but I've been lazy. Huzzah. So, let's go ahead and switch Mont Blanc's uh, dagger out for the next one, so he begins to learn Steel Shield. So we can steal someone's equipped shield, which is nice. Uh, we're going to also change your job back to White Mage, Finnegan, because <clears throat> you need to... Um... You can still have Black Magic, though, so all is fine. And you can have a better, a better staff. Uh, as soon as good. I should have that instead. There we go. There. And there we go. Oh, let's see what, let's see what jobs we have now. We may only have the one. We do. I search for my I search for, I search for my master, the 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 late Doctor Doctor Delelli's thesis. It was taken from me by bandits as I crossed the Ludia Pass. Well, win the mat, win, win the battle. That's easy enough. Let's take a look at this soup. See, the soup raises up our defense and resistance a little bit, so it's worth having because it does power us up. And it's just to win, win the fight. Okay. And that's the last mission we have available, so we can't pick up any more missions. And this is a story mission, as I said. It's a very solid question in game, Rin. That's a stupid answer. No, that's fine. This is true, and you would know. You are a thief now. Close enough, I suppose. Of Mont Blanc.
Because of course we'd have to fight things. Hmm. I'll have to look over their army real quick to see who, uh, who might have a shield on them. So we can steal those now. Alright, come on everybody. Um, you're better there. And CC will be better here. I said better here, thank you. And what is our law? I don't remember what our law is. Paddle and stop. Okay, that's fine. I can't do either I can't do either of those. Okay, just take a quick look at the enemy, just to make sure I know what we all what what, what all's going on. He has a shield I, I I could take. It's just a bronze shield, so it's nothing you know particularly useful. You just have a regular longbow, which is fine. What do you have? Maintenance. Uh, maintenance is a skill that means I can't uh, I, I I can't break or steal things of his, which is unfortunate. But he but he has nothing of use anyway, so I'm fine with that. And he's just got a sword. Okay. Nobody should have too much interesting right now. It's still very early into the game, you see. Yeah, protect and cure. That's neat. And you, Nat. You're the boss, technically. He has a headband and a Chris knife. Yeah, we've seen counter and steel gill is about, what you, is about what you'd expect it to be. So nothing particularly useful on these guys. That said, I want to try to avoid being in range with the thieves. Oh, there's a lot of range on the thieves. Okay, just have to, have, just have to hope that we can burst them before they burst us, eh? Well, let's see, if I go right here... Can you hit him, CC? Oh, you can, theoretically. Ow. CC? Oh well. I, th I, I thought you could arc it over, over, over his head. I'll have to hit him with magic, then. Alright. And speaking of magic, actually... Hmm. It's very low. You can hit her with magic, though. Or not. Ha! Guess she'll go over here. Don't think he can swing up that high. Oh, he can. Oh, good. Good news. Absolutely savage that warrior. Thief, sorry. You're gonna make him a turret of punches. I don't know how you can hit his legs through that through that terrain, by the way. But fine. You'll notice the enemy is getting insane amounts of EXP. That's because we are a much higher level than them. So you, you, you gain EXP in relation to how much, uh, uh, in relation to, uh, to, uh, to, the, to the level difference. So the fact that we're much stronger than they are, they're earning much more EXP than we'll, um, we'll, earn, from, um, we'll earn from them. Oh. Okay, that's... Actually, this is fine. You can come. You, you can come down here. Is 
because now Cece can shoot, she can shoot him in the back. All right, Arden, end the video with end the video with end the video with it with with this, with, with with a kill. Thank you. Thank you, Arden. Arden's good people. I like him. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. So you guys had fun, and I will con I will continue this battle next time. So till then, till then, Rain K.